Why do we let lies live with us? Why lies live with us is often surprising and puzzling when we discover them. We wonder, how does this happen? Why do we let lies live with us? Lies easily become part of the fabric of our lives. We may not realize we're embracing a lie, but depending on how it's presented or misrepresented, we can easily become participants in unwittingly promoting it. Three ways lies move in with us are when we're, one, afraid of experiencing great loss, fear extremely painful rejection, or receiving undeserved punishment. Two, feeling overpowered, forced to comply, lacking self-confidence, or physically and mentally worn out. Three, accepting someone's word as truth, which eventually turns out to be false. And why we let lies live with us is confusing. Lies make life more difficult by complicating matters. They fog our view of the real world. Lies serve as strongholds, negatively impacting life. Because we accepted them, lies become so ingrained, we live with them as if they're truth. This is how lies become part of the scenery of our lives. They shape life for us, forging ways we ought not to go, but under their influence, we go that direction anyway. One of the biggest reasons we allow lies to take up residence with us is we frequently forget who we are. Bursting in on us, we allow an audacious intimidator to boldly step into our space and begin demanding things so outrageous. If we were casual observers watching this made-for-reality TV episode play out, we would say the claims and requests are absolutely ridiculous. But we don't. Why? Maybe it's the element of surprise. The incident was so crazy and unexpected. We were blindsided. Possibly we were shocked and immobilized. Overwhelm and helplessness of the personal disregard washed over us like a tidal wave. Maybe we even felt embarrassed for the perpetrator. We can't always be prepared for every request or question. Or can we? We may profess to seek a simpler life, casting off the unnecessary and addressing needless difficulties standing in our way. In today's complex world, what's the purpose of carrying the baggage of lies as a daily companion? The answer is simple. The truth is hard to face. The truth is usually difficult to express. The truth is often daunting to live out because it is so different and completely out of step with the world's ways. Who wants to live as an outcast or be weird on purpose? Most of us want to live like a nimble ninja whenever we can. Our days are filled with pivoting to take a shortcut or employ a hack that promises to save time, quickly delivering more of what we seek. We're always looking for a better way, aren't we? Even with the promise of less traffic, it's uncomfortable to diverge from life's main thoroughfare. The route of easy is predetermined and practically proven by our peers to make every day less stressful, more modern and elegant, and who doesn't want that? The problem with the easy way is it is only a short-term choice for now. It rarely considers the consequences impacting the future beyond this moment. The choice made today may be morally acceptable, but in the long term promises spiritual pain or to lead us away from the direction we should go. The territory is marked as gray areas in our life map. It's imperative to know what you stand for, who you stand for, and who stands for you. I've been stunned many times when I've been confronted with a decision or addressing a situation I never expected. It came out of left field and I could never have seen it coming. Maybe you've experienced this too. To identify, avoid, and eviscerate life-wrecking lies, we need a firm foundation of standards and belief. We must hold them close, relying on them to make appropriate choices and wise decisions. Otherwise, we risk the consequences of the moment of weakness. The adage, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything, is proven. Armed with truth, we can stand ready for the unexpected, not fearing earthly consequences. 
we can still make mistakes, missteps, and likely will, but all is not lost. We stand on the firm foundation of the Bible. We can be assured our choices will be appropriate. Praying over our decisions, seeking and following our Heavenly Father's guidance, they will be right and pleasing to Him. We can confidently live forward, taking the road less traveled, when we accurately set our moral compass true north on Him. In so doing, we have no need for GPS or reading reviews to guide us. His word is reliable and scripture tells us to stand ready with our answer, 1 Peter 3, 13 to 16. When we fully rely on God's forever promises and reliable guidance rather than man's fleeting promises and momentary strategies, it is easier to remain sure of our steps by following God's tried and true ways and living out our faith, we can move forward on solid ground. We can rest on the assurance God keeps his promises and says what he means. His word is unwavering and his ways are always appropriate. They have stood the test of time and proven effective. It may seem hard to believe words written so long ago could still stand, but the Bible is God's living, breathing word. It remains relevant for his people, for all of us today, and you can count on it. Scripture tells us he has a plan for each of us, every one of us. His plan includes his desire to prosper our lives, Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13. We know we can rest in his word assured in his plan, regardless of man's foolishness. He will be with us and lead us the way for us to go. And we hold our requests, inquiries, promises, brilliant insight, and threats we receive next to God's word. We can more clearly identify the lies and discern the truth. Embrace the truth. Live forward in love. Kick the life-wrecking lies to the curb. I hope you've been encouraged by this. It's based on my book, Kick Life-Wrecking Lies to the Curb, Letting Go of Lies Keeping You from Living with Heart and Soul. Please follow me for more tips and inspiration, Becky Cortino on YouTube, so you'll get updates of new releases. Thank you for watching.